Uh, I born here in Addis, a village named Kora. Kora is uh, a village over 120,000 uh, people. Uh, this village established 95 years ago by lepers. Uh, at that time, there is hospital there, leper hospital. So uh, the lepers, they came to the village for looking uh, medication. After the medication, these lepers settled around the hospital. Actually, leprosy is not a big deal right now, but still 3,000 lepers are live in the area, but uh, not new case. Instead of leprosy, HIV AIDS. HIV AIDS, tuberculosis, and other physical disabilities, one of the major uh, problem of uh, my communities. So uh, I born from uh, leper families. Since when I was five years old, my families referred me to go to the local trash dump. Here in Addis Ababa, there is a big trash dump. That trash dump is in Kora. So all the leper children every day visited to the dump looking their own food, especially on my childhood time. Uh, the trash dump is the food source of the communities, the income source of the communities. So more than 2,000 people are every day visited to the dump looking food. The food was not enough uh, to help all the people who went to the dump. When the food is coming from airport, thousands of people are fighting. Airport was one of the biggest source of food. So the strongest boys, they become in the middle of the circle. Less strong boy make another cir circle. Kids and girls make another circle. After kids and girls, there is uh, donkeys and dog. After donkey and dog, there is goat and sheep. In the air, there is vulture. When the trash is dumped, all these parties are fighting suddenly. Uh, one day, uh, the food was coming from airport. Uh, that food, really, it was poisoned. Uh, around 20 kids, we was eat together the food. After 20 minutes, uh, 18 of us, 20 of us fell down due to the food. So I remember people are opened my mouth and squeeze lemon, drop milk to detoxify the things in my stomach. Uh, unfortunately, a couple of kids are passed away immediately, but God helping, helping me from the age of days. For five, six days, I was in the bed, I was in coma, I was in the age of days, but God helped me when I was 13, when I was fighting food, uh, somebody opened the trash car door. The group kicked me over here. That group make a big infection, like five years, the infection. At the middle of this infection, my biological dad passed away without any support, without any medicine. Uh, eventually, one uh, little guy, 17 years old guy, his name is Jared he came to the dam to visit uh, through Young Life, a ministry called Young Life. Uh, he came from Virginia. When he walked to the dam, I was begging, please give me a medicine. He said, for what? Then I showed him. When I showed him my gun, just like this, it was infection all the way over here. So this 17 years old guy, Jared, he asked me a little question. How old are you? Seven, 19 years old, uh, 18 years old. What is your name? That's why such a kind of small question he asking me. And he back to his guest house or hotel, I don't know. After two weeks, he come back to the dump and he picked me to the dump to go a good hospital, don dental clinic. Uh, uh, he afforded a thousand USD uh, for my treatment. Because I am too late to the hospital, the doctor make surgery all the way over here. After surgery, they put artificial teeth. They put artificial teeth. Uh, after all of this medical support, he gave me the email address of the one who supported that money. Then I write email for that person. He was in 
Virginia. His name is Trooper Walsh. After seven months, Trooper Walsh replied for me uh, the email, what I am right for him. Thank you later. So Trooper asking me, what do you like in the future? Then I told him, I need education. I need to uh, change my life. So Trooper, he sponsored me. He was very dedicated for the progress of my life. Each month, he sent money for food, for rent, for uh, clothes, and for my education. For 10 years, this guy supported me. And when he supported me, this money, he's not looking like a sponsor child. He looking like one of his family members. So that thing makes me uh, uh, strong uh, uh, to support others, to uh, 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 do good stuff as he did a good stuff for me. This is my first uh, number one reason. My second uh, reason, my community is very poor. Him. Many of people are leper, blind, crippled. Uh, they are also isolated from the rest of the town. No one interesting is coming to there, spend their time. This all stuff make me strong uh, to uh, do better stuff for the people of Kora. Yeah, my ministry uh, especially help a community who are working in the dump. The dump is an open source for everybody to get recycled material, food, or other valuable stuff. Uh, the last 10 years, we are uh, serving our communities. Thousands of uh, people are getting support from us. Uh, our ministry basically uh, supported for the community by providing nutritional support, by providing educational support and providing health support. We help uh, 1,200 people directly benefited from the program. Indirect beneficiary, more than 10,000 people are benefited from my program. The biggest challenge right now here in my communities, uh, food and house rent. Most of the community members are widows. Uh, in our country context, if her husband left to her, we call it widow or single mom. Most of my community members are widows, 70%, around 70% of them are widows. These widows they have three kids, four kids, so they couldn't afford food for all their children. And they couldn't afford house rent. Most of it they are living by renting home. In the city, difficult to have your own land. We are highly working on the uh, empowering, women empowering. So through this woman empowering, uh, hundreds of families, they graduated from the program and they become sustained uh, by their own lives. Uh, one story, her name is uh, Tegist. Uh, uh, Tegist, she have two kids, two girls. Through that three years period, we provide for her uh, nutrition, we help her house rent, we help her other medical staff. After three years, we empowered her, empowered her by giving training. After training, we provide for her uh, 15,000 Ethiopian uh, that means like uh, 600 uh, USD. By that 600 USD, she opened her uh, uh, little restaurant and uh, 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 now she is uh, able to uh, uh, sustain by herself. Kora is one of the poorest section of the world. Uh, uh, the poverty level is very high, so uh, the only way we solved this problem by helping each other. So uh, my message uh, for uh, your community or your peoples to support us by empowering women, to support us by sponsoring children, to support us by providing uh, some uh, knowledge. Knowledge also uh, uh, 
my community have no any education. So mm -hmm. even if we support for them to empower by providing money, they do have knowledge. Mm -hmm. So knowledge is also one of uh, the scarcity. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, you can helping us through this way.